you are known for your Rolodex. You're known for your relationships. Can you give somebody, you know, me being a fellow businessman, I, I, I know how important it is to be able to pick up a phone and the person you intend to call actually answers or they call you. You know, like I know, most businesses in the beginning, you're hustling, you're putting out proposals, you're doing sales pitching. But when you do really good business, it turns into relationships and then referrals. Can you speak to somebody? How do you maintain great relationships? How do you increase your network? Because ultimately, that network is going to become your net worth because those people will refer business to you. You know, I, I think the thing that has helped me is uh, I always call it being at the right place at the right time mm -hmm. and, being, and being in the mix. You know, you could sit there and have every, um, you could be the smartest guy in the world, but if you don't have the communication skills, what's that going to do for you? You know, I think what helps me is that I'm open. I'm able to speak to anybody. I'm not afraid to go and ask for something. And I think that's because of I've built a confidence level, but I've always had it where, you know, it's, hey, let me ask, you know, let me find out, let me inquire. And I always had plenty of business cards around me and I handed them out and I got people's business cards. I would say, can I have your card? Can I have your card? And, and then I would write, you know, I, I read a lot of uh, improvement books early on and you know, one of the things that uh, I remember reading was taking a business card and writing down who, how I met the guy and where. So in the beginning, I started doing that. Then it was kind of funny. Uh, a girlfriend of mine years ago said to me, my God, look at all those business cards. Why don't you get and, uh, all of a sudden I, a Christmas gift, a card scanner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old school. I was putting everything in rubber bands and uh, whatnot. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, really how I built a network by being in the mix and being proactive and being, uh, uh, being not afraid to say who I am and what I do. Excellent, excellent. You, you know, you also a philanthropist. Uh, you have a, a youth football league um, a camp, yeah, a camp. Mm -hmm. can, can, can we talk, why, why is philanthropy important to you? Why, why was it important for you to, to establish uh, a part of your company that gives back? Well, obviously when I was uh, sick and I had the brain surgery, um, you know, I, I was telling the story, uh, I was interviewing an actor yesterday for my uh, show, Big Daddy and Friends. And we were talking about giving back and, and he asked me a question, how, what got me started? So I'm going to answer that same question to you. After I went to visit the hospital, when I was able to and go visit the place that saved my life, there was a youth event going on and I saw a lot of kids, a lot of them had, you know, scars and, you know, they were sick and whatever and whatnot. I mean, and then I just said to myself, man, I remember the doctor saying to me, he goes, Rich, you would be able to help us out so much with everything that you have going on. We would love to do a fundraiser with you. And at first I was like, man, I'm just getting back on my feet. I don't know if I could take on something like this, you know. And then I got together with uh, one of my guys named Bob Broderick. And I said, hey, Bob, we should put on a golf alley. And we pulled it off in four months. And it was like I was married to this thing for four months. And we were able to pull it off and we had a, such a great turnout and I had a who's who and it's all, you know, Big Daddy Celebrity Golf Classic. It's all on YouTube and you can see all the videos and whatnot. And we had a who's who come in there for four years. And that's what really got me started there. As far as the football camp, my brother's an assistant coach with the Buffalo Bills. And uh, we always talked about... Uh, 
well, year one, some guys from uh, my local neighborhood came up to me and said, we should do a football camp, but we did it. It was, uh, it was okay. We didn't have that many kids, but I was like, you know, my brother's a football coach. I need to do this with him, you know? Mm-hmm. So we turned around and we partnered up and we did it. And we worked our way up to 100 kids, Beautiful. like 12 kids year one or 20 kids. And, uh, you know, we had some great sponsors like Chick-fil-A. Um, we've had restaurants uh, that, uh, and, you know, we, we give the kids an NFL atmosphere where we have practice. And then after practice, we have training table. So I would get two or three different local restaurants to come in and feed all the campers, the staff, and the parents. And one of my greatest supporters and sponsors is Arizona Iced Tea. I mean, uh, I drink a lot of their water. If you could see over my shoulder there, I have my Arizona Iced Tea refrigerator full of product. And uh, so that was that is something that's really dear to my heart and my brothers because, you know, a lot of these kids can't afford to go game, to games and it's expensive. If you have a family of three or four, it turns out to be in like $1,000 by the time you get there, the tickets, food, travel time. So we wanted to bring that back to our hometown and that's what we did. So um, between those two things and then I'm also part of this, uh, this is Share. And this is a women's empowerment group. And I'm actually the ambassador to the group. Uh, the group was uh, the CEO and founder. Her name is Angelica Steen Olson, has been a dear friend of mine for years. We partnered up in this and um, I'm out spreading the word about uh, gender equality and men supporting women. And it's a UN initiative, which is called He for She. So, uh, so between those three things and work uh, and some other things I have going on, I have a full docket. But it's important to give back, especially when you have social media now where everyone sees what you're doing and who you're doing it with. So instead of being selfish about it, let me involve those around me as well to let them share in some of the experiences that I am fortunate to have experienced and get to experience. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.